Yo. What is up, sucker mother lovers? Y'all, the BET Awards is over. How y'all doing, sucker mother lovers? Oh my God, I feel like the awards were on for so long. So I know a lot of you guys that have been watching me, I usually go get you guys the behind the scenes. I'm gonna be honest, this year, I was a little tired. My body was weary, I didn't feel like going. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just watch from home. What? I'm tired, I'll go next year, but my feet, they hurt. I'm usually not even home by now, so I'm happy. I was able to watch the awards, eat a piece of chicken in between on commercials. It was good, I enjoyed it. So, the show opens with Big Sean. Lamborghini, Mercy, yo, 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 chicks, up, and because you want more sick, but they but that's all I really understand what they're saying. Somebody actually Googled it for me, but I still, I enjoyed what other people were saying. I thought it was talking about my wig was willy and all this stuff. I don't know, but I enjoyed that song to death. So they opened the show, of course. I don't know why, but I'm always looking for Jay-Z to come out on every song. But I was really happy to see Kanye there. I was like, the award show is different because when I saw Jay-Z come out, I was like, what, what you doing here? Like, Jay-Z ain't been to the war show since, oh my gosh, probably since what happened to Rihanna, I'm gonna be honest. Or maybe I just don't remember. Whatever the case, I was very, very shocked to see him there. And of course, Beyonce! That's why I was mad I didn't go, because I didn't see Beyonce. Ooh, y'all know I love me some Beyonce. Damn. I was so excited to see 18 Chains come out because I had heard about 2 Chains, but I wasn't sure who he was. And so when he finally came out, I was like, there he is. I didn't know who he was. I thought it was Waka Flocka. I just saw locks and a tall dude. And I, that's the problem with me. It's called ignorant. Whatever. No judgment. The sad part is when Kanye West finally comes out, I'm all excited. And I was like, why don't I hear anything but myself screaming? It's because BT bleeped out the first like 30 seconds of his verse. His verse is 35 seconds. So it's like, everybody was like, we heard nothing. Nothing at all on this end. Yeah, it's just like, and they were real late and delayed with bleeps. Like, when Nicki Minaj was performing, she was like, bitch, this, and it was like, bleep. It was like, you missed it. You missed the curse word. I think you need to rewind and go back. Like, y'all had three hours to get it together. Nobody caught that. I don't understand. Fired. Oh, my God. So, this whole freestyling thing, I got nervous because I was like, oh, my God, is he about to have a Taylor Swift moment? I wasn't sure what was going on with Kanye West. But when he dropped the mic, was I the only one that was expecting him to do this? And go, I was on the one. Nobody else thought of coming to America. I was so excited. I was like, sexy chocolate. I was so ready. I was so ready for him to say that, but he didn't. But it's okay because I was here and I said it myself. If I was there, I would have said it out. I would have said it all out. I would have. What? They gonna do? Kick me out? Probably. I was really curious to how it was going to be with Samuel L. Jackson hosting the BET Awards. It really showed everyone that they wanted to go with like a different image for BET Awards because usually it's comedians hosting the show like I mean the last five years for sure it's been some type of comedian. You had Cedric the Entertainer, Steve Harvey, um, Monique, Kevin Hart, uh, Jamie Foxx. So you know that's kind of been their their whole little uh mo is to have comedians to host it so i was you know very shocked but pleased that they had samuel L. jackson i didn't know how i was going to mesh together because bet's image right now i know they're trying to change it but it's real young rap you know samuel L. jackson you know more movies so i was i was really confused but i must say that it did mesh pretty good together it was a good balance i think because i know bt is trying to change their image I think it worked good for them. Um, him and, uh, oh my God, the skit at the beginning, I just could not. I could not. Um, uh, does Spike Lee have on shiny tights in the skirt? I don't know. I guess that's a new thing for him to have on a leather skirt because then I saw Kanye West. He was performing one time. He had on a leather skirt, so I guess that's a new thing. I'm nervous. I'm not sure if I'm there yet with that style, but okay, if it works for you, all right. When Lala first uh, got on and she was talking about the Twitter whole thing and all that stuff, was I the only one that heard her microphone galloping? Like, it was like... And she was, like, talking. And I was like, what is that clacking? It's kind of like some of you people hear the clacking in my thing. Don't worry, you guys. I'm still trying to figure out what that is. I'll figure it out one day. Eventually. Side note, was that Willow or her brother, Jaden? I'm not sure who that was, but... Has Willow come out the closet yet? Am I the only one waiting on her to come out the closet? Or did she already come out and nobody really cares? I don't know. We're going to love her anyway. I just be yourself. I mean, she already didn't pierce her tongue. That was the ultimate for me. I was like, okay, it's official. What is she, like, eight? Is she still I, piercing your tongue? I was still playing with Barbie dolls. Child, times has changed. That make me nervous to have kids right there. 
So Usher performs. I was actually nervous when he started doing the slow song because I don't know, for me, I just feel like BET is not the award show for slow songs. But of course, I love the song that he did, but I was just like, I don't know. But I guess he was like, look, my bones are weird. I don't really feel like flipping and jumping. Plus, Chris Brown is going to be doing that later on. So I'm going to just sing a slow song and get my sexy on and let you know that I'm waiting on you here. I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm always like, when the slow songs come on. But I do like that song, and I love me some Usher. So I kind of gave him a pass, I guess. Was he off tune at one point? It was like he was singing. I was like, wait, was he yelling and singing? It was just that one little point. I'm not a singer, but I know what I heard. Something didn't sound right. I don't know. Y'all know I catch everything. Taraji was scratching when they, when the thing went up and they were like, introducing Miss Taraji. And she was like, I was like, are you really scratching? She was like, hey, y'all, what's up, boo? Hey. I was like, let me tell you something. Y'all can take that baby and bring her Grammys and nominees and everything else. I said Grammys. Y'all know what I meant. Oscars, but that baby, she is still gonna love her some Jowdy, and I love it. I love that she keeps her ghettoism in her. That is amazing. It's so funny that she's like, I can act. I do whatever you need to, but I'm still hood when I want to be. So best actor went to Kevin Hart. Y'all know I love me some Kevin Hart to death. He he beat out Denzel Washington. He just album. Really? For real? Come on, P.E.T. Y'all know better. But we already knew. When I saw he was in the competition, I was like, it was he was going to win. But it was so funny because um, <laughs> Taraji was talking about <laughs> him. And then at the end, he was like, and Taraji, you smell. I thought it was so funny. I don't know. Y'all know I, I like stuff like that. The Cedric thing that said the Book of Ross, girl, dead. Kill, kill me now. I'm done. That was funny. But he's retarded. Ooh, that best new artist was a hard category. But ooh, swerve. Boy, swerve. Boy. Yeah. Let's swerve. I almost hit a cat trying to swerve in the car one time. I was so excited when they finally showed Beyonce. I was like, oh my God! Y'all know I love Beyonce. But the thing is, is when Beyonce's in the crowd, I get ADHD. They're performing this way and Beyonce's over here. This is me all the time. I tell you. Like, wherever she is, I'm going to look. I am not one of those. I told you I'm not a starstruck person. Like, if I see someone, I'm like, oh, they're such and such. Like, you know, I may look twice or whatever to make sure it's them. But the only person that I told you will get me going is Beyonce. Where I'm like, oh my God, it's her. It really is. Like, that's the only person. Oh, and Chris Tucker. Sorry, those two. But I saw Chris Tucker. I met Chris Tucker. I took a picture with him. Boom. So, yay. But now, so bucket list. Got to get my picture picture with Beyonce. Then I'll be happy. Jamie looked different, but I was happy here on that Trayvon Martin uh, shirt. I wasn't understanding what he was doing with that big old beard. I thought maybe that they was doing it for the championship. I don't know what was going on. I, I was real nervous. But then when he showed that he was doing a movie for 11 months, I was like, okay. Now it makes sense. Am I the only one that notices that his forehead is coming back? I know y'all remember when Jamie Foxx's hair, hairline was like way back. And then like when he did Ray, it came down and now it's back again. I don't know. Am I the only one that notices that? Oh. Damn. Al Sharpton has lost like 150 pounds. Where did he go? He was so small. Like when they first showed him a glance, I was like, ooh. That was not Al. It wasn't. It was him. He has lost a gang of weight. And I'm praying that he's he's doing it because he's trying to be healthy and not because he's sick. Like, I pray that he's not sick. So, prayers going up for Al. I loved how they, like, added the little mini tributes, like, to those that passed. Like, they did one for Donna Summer and they did one um, for Etta James. Like, I saw a couple of people, but I'm happy that they did mention these people. Like, to let people know they're gone but not forgotten. That was really, really cute little twist on BET. I like that. Go on. Go right now. Al Varner comes up to... Um, announced somebody and she was saying uh two years ago when she hit the stage now maybe she was on the side stage and i missed that but i was like hoppo who that lady she was like i mean because now i'm like i have like the number one song i was like i don't even know you lady i'm sorry i thought i was maybe the only one but i didn't i, I had no idea who she was but i'm happy she got a start on bet that was amazing i had to go google her after this is over when that guy, uh, Charles Perry, performed, like, I actually want to look him up because I liked him, but I immediately thought that it was a mix between CeeLo and Al Green. Like, he had that little sound. It was like, blah, blah, blah. like that. It was amazing. I really like him. I would definitely buy his music. He was good. So, I guess he's going to be coming back in two years telling us two years ago he started, and I'm not going to know who he is. Somebody just tell me to come back to this video. So, Nicki Minaj performed. When she started off on that slow song, I was like, you going to usher us? You going to go with the slow song for real? And then when she took off that little, that, I called it an extra large tutu because it was like real long. So it was an extra large tutu to me. But when she came 
and she bent over for the crowd, I was like, damn. Let me say something. Everybody and mama got fake booties now. I, I get it. I understand. We all know that Nicki Minaj's booty is fake or we have subject. We, we believe it is. Whatever the case, she wears it and she wears it well. Because she has thick legs. Like, the girls that get me is girls that have little bitty legs, little bitty boobs, all this. And then they had a big colossal butt. Like, at least Nicki Minaj looks proportioned. But I was like, girl, you did not bend over for the crowd. Like, I thought it was a strip show. I was about to make it rain to the TV. I didn't know what to do. I was nervous, but 18 Chains came out again. He was like, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. I was like, hey, oh, swerve, boy. I was ready. I was like ready to do everybody at once. Like it was on right here in my living room. But at the end, she was like 100 mother. I was like, hey, you were supposed to bleep yourself. She didn't care. She was like, Nikki was bucking the whole night. Like she was bucking at the camera. She was hood. I don't know what happened, but maybe somebody would talk about it on Twitter. Because she, she just seemed real nuck if you buck, if you will. Best collab. That was a that was a risky category too. It was a whole lot of good people. I was like, ooh, ooh. But Wale ended up wearing it. He was so excited. He ran over there and knocked Jay-Z drink down. I was like, oh boy, you gonna get it. You the every money piece of money you just won that you gotta spend it on his shoe. One shoe. Everything. But he was so excited. But I'm happy he won, I guess. I'm I, yay. I like Wale though. He was good. So Tasha Mack was actually presenting too, or she actually presented or did something on the floor. I don't know, but I know that her hair had a personality of its own. I don't know, maybe I just got used to uh, Wendy, uh, Wendy, Wendy Robinson wearing, you know, the swoop, the Tasha Mack hairstyles. So when I saw this, I was like, I don't know, it was real curly. It was doing a lot, it scared me. Cause while she was talking and she wasn't moving, her hair was going like this. Like this, I don't know if it was wind blowing, I'm not sure, but it was moving on its own. I don't know about y'all, but if we can tune into the, some of this foolery that's on the TV, we can definitely tune into Real Husbands of Hollywood. Y'all, that show is funny as hell. I will watch it, seriously. When that fool opened that door <laughs> and Samuel L. Jackson, Jackson threw that damn food at Kevin Hart, I don't know. It was just really funny. I like it. And then when he used his Star Wars to cut off Kevin's arm, it was just funny. I enjoyed it. Maybe I'll be the only one tuning in, whatever. At least it ain't somebody just plucking somebody else's man. That's, that's old. Now, that's old. Oh my God, so the mummy we was all waiting for, D'Angelo, he ain't been back in like 12 years, he's back. I was so happy, and then when I heard, how does it feel, I was like, oh my God, is he going to be naked from the waist up? Like, I was really excited, and then he came out there with his bandana tied around his head, and I was like, oh, okay, but I'm, I'm really happy that he lost weight, but let me ask you guys something. So do y'all think that now that he's back, the people just going to jump back on him, or is it gone? You know how some artists, they can come back, you know, everybody like, oh my God, where you been, like Maxwell? And then you got other artists like Lil' Kim, and they don't really, really come back, but they think they are. So, what do we think is going to happen with him? Is he coming back? People going to still respect his music? I don't know. I couldn't get past that thing. Like, when he was talking, it was like his, I mean, when he was singing, it was the bandana here. And I was like, what is that on his face? Nobody's going to get it? Nobody's going to go cut the camera? I was like, what is it? But it was the piece of his bandana tied, but it was really bothering me. I couldn't concentrate on the music because I was watching that piece on his face. ADHD. Don't judge me. Did Mike Apps come out in a Jodeci outfit? As soon as he walked out, I was like, isn't that an outfit that Casey and JoJo wear? And when he said it, I, I, I fell. I hit the floor. He's dumb as hell. He's crazy. I love him. Did Mona's behavior diss Lauryn Hill? Y'all know Lauryn Hill is going to get them little kids, right? She about to get them all. I was so happy that Beyonce did the save, though. She came back and she was like, it was artists like Lauryn Hill that helped me get my start. I was like, oh, yeah. Beyonce is known for being politically correct. Remember she brought Taylor Swift back on the stage? She always doing that. She always picking up the pieces. She didn't pick up uh, Michelle when she fell when they was performing at the uh, at 106 in Park, though. They just looked at Paul Michelle as she fell. She, Michelle took a tumble. I really like that the BET Awards is trying to do something different and kind of rebuild their image because I don't know about you guys, but BET was kind of starting becoming, it was starting to become my space to me. It was kind of like, who goes there anymore? Like, who tunes in? I don't really do it unless it's a movie on. I go to Centrix, but... <clears throat> Yeah, I don't really, Cit Citrix or whatever, but I really don't tune into BT. I don't watch 106 in part since Free left. Hello, they need to just bring Free back. You finally getting rid of Roxy's ass. Bring Free back. That's when 106 in Park was popping. It was 106 and Free. AJ too, but not really. Free. Like, hello. Her voice, everything. She just had the New York swag. Bring her back. I'm just saying. We should take a vote. Somebody. She need to do something. Y'all remember Video Soul? Some of y'all probably wasn't even born. I remember Video Soul. Donnie Simpson, was that his name? I didn't realize that that was a two-hour show. 
why he got a two hour show? That's why the show was canceled. But that show lasted for a long time. That show lasted from I think like 81 to 96. That's a long time. Two hours. <sighs> Missed that show. So is Maybach music becoming Maybach? Maybach? Is Maybach music becoming a new YMBCD? I think I added too many letters. Young Money Click, are they becoming new people? I'm just curious. I'm happy to hear they're about shouting out different groups though. That's good. No no need for the Plexi. No need for the Chris Brown and, you know, the throwing of the bottles and stuff. We don't really need that in this day and age. I really hope that whole thing just cease and desist though. I really do because that can get real ugly. And, you know, life is too short. Like, y'all argue about something else. Argue about who gonna do what track on what song. You know, like, just all this beef for no reason, especially if it's behind a girl. Oh, God. Please stop. Stop. Like, don't, do not collect your money. Don't pass go, go straight to jail. Please. I feel that we could create an entire wig off Rick Ross's beard. I'm going to just say it out loud. That is a lot of beard. He's a big man. But, I mean, I was looking at all that hair and I was like, I wonder how deep is it? You know, you put your foot in the water just to see how you look. I wonder how deep. Like, I just want to put my finger in his beard to see how far my finger. it probably get down to here. That's a lot of a beard. So, Soldier Boy and Diamond back together? Next. Bye. Sit down. Please. God. What's going on? Y'all only want to get together because the Hip Hop Atlanta show is starting. You know that all that stuff was going on. And now you see Lil Scrappy on the show. So now y'all all back in love. Really? Really? Soldier Boy, last time we saw you with a woman, it was with Cat Stacks. And she was calling you out. Ooh. Buster Rhyme is nuck if you buck. He is huge. He was like, now I'm here to present. I was like, God, can you stop flexing for a second? Like, I was nervous. Had yeah, his American flag on and stuff. I salute you and your muscles. Another reason why I would have went to the BET Awards tonight was to see Frankie Beverly and Maze. That, I don't know, just something about them. It puts me in a happy mood. It makes me think of when I was a baby, when I was young. And I remember my mom and dad always playing and my mom would be cleaning up my daddy cooking and stuff. It just put me in a good mood. You know how you had that song and it's just that one song that just always, or that one artist. Frankie Beverly and Maze. Like, I could listen to Maze. All day, every day, every day, every day. I didn't know why Angela Bassett was in the house until they done they did the uh, Whitney Houston um, tribute. And I was like, because I was like, Angela Bassett, what's she doing here? This ain't even your type of award show you go to, lady. And they brought Joe out the woodworks. It was all kind of people. I was like, well, where you come from? I ain't seen you in forever. It was really cute to see Free and Terrence J uh, partying together. I guess now they're in the same boat. They're not working for BT. But I was actually confused that... I thought that they was done, but I guess they fulfilling their contract because why was free? I mean, Terrence and Roxy still a part of this. I, I'm confused. Are they still employees of BNT? Like, when you get fired from BT, do you like have to still like fulfill something? Was it just easier to have them one last time? I guess it was probably easier to have them one last time. You know, before they, I guess, really got the boot. I thought they was already gone. I was like, oh my God. It's Chaka Khan for real. Like, she looks good. So, whatever she doing, I hope she stick with it. Hallelujah. Oh, when Sissy came out there and sung, it was just, I don't know. It was it was a lot. And a lot of people I heard were tweeting about Soldier Boy crying. What was wrong with that? I don't know. He did have crocodile tears, but what was wrong with that? What is wrong with a man showing emotion? That's what's wrong with the world today. They they feel like men can't show emotion. And what I don't get, they saying that he was a little punk for crying, but why is he a punk for crying? But Chris Brown wasn't when he cried for Michael Jackson. Like, come on, we got to be fair here. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. What do y'all think about that? Oh, when the cast of Waiting Excel came out, I was like, oh, y'all. But I'm sorry, but, um... Uh, uh, what's her name in the middle? I can't even think of her name right now. But, uh, always right at the tip of my tongue. But when she, <laughs> for some reason, every time I think of her, I think about, go start for Marcus. Dinner was yummy. This is not, sorry. That's all I see. And I always think that her feet look like she is Nick from Boomerang. So the ultimate fan comes out, and I was like so happy for him. Oh, yay. But I was so ooper duper nervous to him thinking they was going to Tiffany Green him. Y'all remember last year when Tiffany Green, she was like, and put it up for the artist Rihanna. Just kidding, Chris Brown. Wait, huh? I was like, oh, that poor baby. So he was ready. He did a good job, though. He was like, yeah, give it up for the. Yeah, he did good. He actually been practicing in his mirror. I could tell. He did good, though. 
I want mindless behavior, behaviors hair, either them braids or that big hair. I need them to cut it off so I can put it on a wig so I can be looking real cute. I do either or. That condo on my wrist. I love that song. It just makes me want to put a condo on my wrist. You know, the Monopoly. I know y'all saw that on Instagram. That was so funny. They had the Monopoly piece on their hand. They got a condo on their wrist, girl. They cashing out. I was ready. That was like my ratchet. Rack City the chick. Rack, rack City the chick. When they said that Tiger was performing, I was like, when, when you get on that song? I don't remember him being on, uh, got a condo on his wrist. I didn't remember him being on that. So when he did his song, I was like, okay, I see what y'all doing. Everybody in the audience was jamming. It was fun. Smoking on Keisha. Are they about to start na naming marijuana after uh, women now? Because everybody talking about they smoking on Keisha. And I'm like, is this something new out on the market I don't know nothing about? I was confused. I don't know, but overall, I think that the award show was well put together. Mariah Carey actually came out for Whitney Houston's tribute, too. I forgot about that part. Um, she was talking about the uh, rivalry that her and Whitney Houston had. I forgot all of I didn't even remember that. I had to Google that real fast. I was like, well, when y'all was beefing? But I feel like that this was a really good show. I think that it was well put together. You know, um, I like the direction that BET is trying to go when they're trying just trying to not make it be so hood you know it's okay leave that to the do they even have a soul awards in the way what was it called I don't know I just love the direction that it's going now so as always sucking mother lovers this is long enough I hope that you guys enjoyed the BET awards and my review as always until next time I'm sleepy as hell I'm out this show was long as hell but I enjoyed it